the extension building uh, is meant uh, as a mosaic tile in the Legainov, so its first uh, will is to belong to the context. My interest in the profession of making building, because I'm a technician, is not in building an icon or a figure or in reinventing a language. I believe in a more complex and even contradictory process of understanding through observation and listening what is the permanencies of a culture you encounter and how that permanency can speak with others. So what allows to layer in continuity with difference, even contrast, from who lived before us and who has to come. The characteristic of us is to be medieval. This uh, sequencing of uh, passages, like if you have secret walks uh, through the city from courtyard uh, to passage to another courtyard and garden and then a building. It's like if the Beginov is a miniature, a distilled perfume of other parts of the city. Like, those are watercolors for Z33, which is everything that is happening there. How is the historical center of us with the island of the Guinage? how to work with rooms which are with very skinny walls, how to think about the brick. And then after this, there is this, directly. What we deal with is reality that is not there yet, is dealing with something that is possible, but is completely new. There is no manifesto, there is no program, there is no abstract, precise uh, objective uh, that Francesca and in general the work of the studio aims to reach or want to reach. It's more really kind of an attitude towards the profession, towards what we propose. Thinking of a grinder for spices, it is on one side uh, drawing it, but it's about the movement. On the other side is about touching, so how you put your hand. And it's not different from an object uh, from a building. So what we did was in the factory to start uh, trying, and the result was to pass a roll, the very cheap one for painting houses, and in this way you have a very, very gentle surface that where you can put your hand, but also it's not uh, demanding attention when the grazing light is coming on top. You can really rest on it. Like this was a check, literally touching and putting your cheek, which is a very soft part of your body, to check if it was gentle enough. I admire Flugel 58. It's a masterpiece of uh, elegance, uh, sobriety and intelligence. It is highly respectful of the character and behavior of the buildings of the Bequinage. So it has an introvert behavior towards the city and it's more extrovert towards the interior of the Bequinage where you have the garden. The extension building, uh, it is different uh, for these choices of uh, wishing to enhance and value the surrounding context, uh, which is more sensual, softer in a way, so has a more feminine character. Both buildings uh, are one at the end, uh, but they are different. And they're both in a way representative and monumental, though the expression is highly different. That's the beauty of building, that you think for so long uh, and you take care for so long, uh, but then when it is built, uh, if things were thought profoundly enough or in a way that could dispose uh, accidental happenings, then you get so many presents which were non-preconceived. 
In that sense, there is a very gentle but also rapid change of light from room to room because all the building is kind of an organ of light and shadow and you do it with normal tools. Drawing, being at a table with masonry men, engineers, managers, clients and carpenters and each one of these people contribute in a way with their sight, their fight also. All the building, the plurality of parkour was thought also hoping to offer people the possibility to get lost, to find a space of your own, but not feel lonely. The extension building is uh, hinting to many places uh, and even legends of Hasselt, but it's also hinting to memories and visions that are from other cultures. There are some specificities uh, of Hasselt, uh, this enfilade, this rhythm and the space of walking along. We leave it in the passage of Hasselt, or going from garden to garden, or walking in the corridors of the Beguinage houses as well, from exhibiting room to exhibiting room of the existing building, Fleur 58. But at the same time, those, um, this sequencing can remind you of a Hitchcock movie, or of a reading of a poem from Italy, or a storytelling from a Parisian novel. I don't dare to say that uh, this building is uh, a landmark for a new way of creating or making art because I don't think that is the purpose of my job. There is not the goal uh, to be a revolution. I don't believe in that. But still, uh, observing, uh, it's not a neutral space. The extension building, therefore, I think it's just a fact uh, that uh, artists and creators will encounter something they normally, today, do not encounter in their practice. Therefore, it would be natural. New questions will arise uh, and then it is up to the individuals uh, how to unravel that. When the visitors will come, I hope to become a shadow. So, to disappear and observe. I wish I could be um, invisibly listening uh, the happenings of the building. Can you imagine after so long time uh, walking in every room mentally and then being in the building site so frequently. It is uh, such um, a joy and refreshing to leave the house uh, and uh, from distant observe uh, the life uh, taking place. I think it's so beautiful to leave the scene.